glad to see you, Henry. I'd like to thank you again. Everyone is cured. It's nothing we short cured of a miracle. Him. No, We're scientists now. You've suffered enough. We've all suffered enough. God's truth. You know, the folk here are truly grateful. They'd have you and Nicodemus canonized if they could. They brought me gifts for the two of you. I wasn't keen on the idea at first. We're not left with much since the livestock died. But since you're here... It'd be funny if they actually gave me... Well, that's kind of them. Give them my thanks. It'd be funny if they gave me a horse. I'm glad you stopped by. Take care. Here's your reward, a horse. The last surviving horse from the stud farm. Okay, now I gotta go interrogate this dickhead. Welcome. Welcome back to the land of the living. Who are you? My name is Henry, and I'm investigating on behalf of Sir Radzik Kobala. Oh. I see. You'll have an easy job with me, boy. How so? I won't give you any problems. That's sensible of you. I'm a sensible man. Only I'd like to get it over quick and not keep the Rate Executioner busy too long. If you catch my drift. I understand. What do you want to know? Everything. First, tell me who's behind all this. Who do you follow? I follow the coin, lad. We all do. That's not news to me, but who pays the coin? I got my pay from Runt, like all the men in Privislavitz. And Runt got his money from the chief. And the chief had the coin minted. <laughs> who's the chief? The bandit leader? Bandit? If he heard you say that, he'd have your head on a spike. That's the kind of man he is. Well, he ain't Czech, huh? Nobody knows much about him, though. Only that he ain't Czech. So he's a foreigner? German? Don't think so. For sure he ain't Czech. And he's got plenty of coin. I'd stake my neck on it. He's got noble blood in his veins. Judging by how he looks? More by the way he talks. Any man can dress up like nobility, but he spoke all la di da like a lord. La di da di da. Where's that chief of yours now? I've no idea. After Privis Lovitz, he ordered us to raid Merhoyet, but he wasn't with us. He went off who knows where. I don't reckon he'll be out of your hair for long, though. So the chief is in command of all these operations? You could say. I'd say you're looking at it all wrong, though. How's that? You ask who's in charge and who answers to who. Only this ain't some noble court. There was all sorts of gangs in Privislov. It's big and small. Robber barons who had their own brigades calling them my lord. and Common footpads who hadn't a pot to piss in. Men came, men went. Lots of squabbles. The occasional murder. Old cronies and old rivals were meeting. Know what I mean? I suppose so. It was one big muddle. The main thing was nobody asked questions. I didn't give a damn who the chief was or what he had in mind or whether he had one ball or two. All I was interested in was the coin. Uh -huh. So you knew the coin was counterfeit? Of course I did. I brought those Groshen to Privis Lovitz, along with a few other things. Did you? And where did the forgeries come from? Like, where were they made? I don't know. Some merchant by the name of Menhart gave them to me. Menhart. We used to meet at the charcoal piles near Rovna, by the crossroads there. As it happens, I'm supposed to be meeting him there about now. So Menhart's waiting there? Might be. Might not. He could have heard what happened in Pripus Lovitz and decided not to show. And does this Menhart know where the coin comes from? How should I know? 
To me, he's just another link in the chain. I deal with him, and I never ask who he deals with. Just like he knows nothing about me. I see. So I suppose there's no point asking you if you know any more about him. It'd be a waste of breath. All he did was give me the coin, and then we went our separate ways. Who else knows about the money? Apart from the chief, Menhart, Runt and me, there was a few others. The men got some real money too with the false stuff. It'd be suspicious if they only had freshly minted coin. You said you used to bring other things. What were they? Letters. Menhart would give them to me for the chief. This time I was taking an answer back to Menhart too. Have you still got that letter? Aye. The yokels round here ain't got much interest in correspondence, apparently. Give it to me, then. I'd be delighted. What were the letters about? If I knew how to read, I wouldn't be trusted to carry letters, would I? Hmm. I took them from Menhart to the chief and back. And that's all. How did you know about Privis Lovitz? Who took you there? A fellow by the name of Moorcock. There he is. I was we trying to remember what that one guy's name was, Moorcock. I was robbing burghers <laughs> who were fleeing the town from Sigismund's army. <laughs> what a name. We got to talking and he told me about Privis Lovitz. Why did you attack Merhoyed? The chief himself gave us the order. Uh, I reckon he wanted to show the local lords he was nowhere near finished. So he's planning more raids? The chief's always planning something. Privis Lovitz was only the start. Cool. That's all I need to know for now. For now? For the love of Christ, boy, don't let the executioner interrogate me. I've already told you everything I know. I can't deny you've been cooperative. I'll do my best to see you get a quick end. I think old straws come for the brigand. Oh, of course. Step back from that Eden, young fella. But, but you can't kill me. Not just like that. Shut the fuck up, you weasel. I keep it fucking shut. You don't even get a say. Oh, well, straw. He won't escape justice. After all, he's... Don't stand in my way, Malikar. Let Henry decide. He's the one who saved his life. Oh, it's going to be a timed, timed choice. Let's talk about it. To Alwada. That horse will kill my boy. He won't leave Merah yet alive. Listen to me, Straw. That isn't going to help anyone. You're a decent man, not a killer. Think of your wife. Now, where's the justice in that? My boy cut down on his youth. Didn't even have a chance to marry. And that cutthroat swine left walking the earth. Don't worry. He won't escape justice. Surely you don't think Sir Radzig will just let him go? What's Sir Radzig to me? You won't even let me avenge the death of my own son. Take him, then. Take him and leave me with nothing but my grief. I promise you he'll suffer for what he did. Be quiet and go quickly before I change my mind. We ride to battle. Yeah. Oh man, he's so fast. I love it. Yeah. 
shit. We missed. Nerd. Yeah. Yeah. This horse has courage too, so. Three of them. Hey, what's up, idiot? Yeah, oh, of course. <laughs> Dogs are OP, man. The next part of the mission is to uh, investigate the silver mines of Scallets, where you're from, where he thinks their gold's being minted. They're making fake currency and uh, circulating it throughout the country. They're trying to destabilize the country. Yeah, we'll scout it. Well, you don't. Uh... We got we got some boys. I see you. This guy's like Kind of built. Boy, has some loot on him. Yeah. Go turn. Put it away. Damn. Yeah, let me off my horse. <laughs> it was just... Oh, man. God be with you. I have some trophy. Show me. Good work. I've taken care... Have you brought... Here it is. Good work. Well done. Is there another one? Some charcoal burners came here from the camp to the south. All right. I'll take a look around. These guys are up to. Oh, it's a skirmish, maybe?
don't know what these guys are. They're not really. Counts as a miss. Now I got you. You pay dearly for shooting. Yeah. Yeah. I can't hit a shot to save my fucking life. test yeah I'll slaughter you Ooh. yeah 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 they got took an arrow to the heart there's no way you just chill yeah These were town Bergians. And you know what? That's true. Um, there's often times there's, I'm trying to think of like an example, but there can be like an extremely shallow game where the music enhances yeah. it to a point to where like you want to play it. You don't know why exactly. You just know that you do want to play it, and it turns out it's because of the music. Yeah. Because it'd be slapping on a different level. Yeah. Damn. Damn, Busey. Gary Bucephalus. Play this game of Ring Around the Rosie again. Right, suck it. Yo, what? Cephalus, you're failing me right now. Yeah. Die! 
can because I can't guarantee these bodies will still fucking be here whenever I'm done sometimes the bodies just disappear Still one more. Has to be. <laughs> hey, get off my dog. Good fella. That's my boy. Look what I've got for you. You'll love. Here, have yourself a smoked sausage. After we go talk to Radzig, I would like to go back to Rate and um. Go back to Rate and repair my armor and stuff, and Greetings. you know, clean up. I have some. Show me. So I've taken care. Of have you brought? Here it is. Good work. Well done. Now it seems we can take a bit of a breather. There's no sign of any humans around here. I, I must say, I'm impressed with the job you've done. Thank you, Captain. But it would be a pity to waste your talents. They say the roads aren't safe even by Sazal. Oh, or shit. Scallets. God preserve us. Over there, the brigands are on the rampage. Well, I'll be glad to deal with them. I don't doubt it. But in Sassau, you'll have to go first to Sir Sebastian. Sir He's Sebastian. He's the custodian of the Sassau Monastery and in charge of security in that region. He'll tell you where to find them. And I'm sure he'll be glad of a helping hand. Very well, Captain. I'll head there then. Yeah. Yeah. Terrazic, what's up, pony? Greetings. What do you need? I've returned from Merhoyed, sir. How does it look there? I brought them help from the monastery. Brother Nicodemus and Yahanka from Skalitz. Fortunately, Nicodemus was able to cure the disease. I cured the disease. What are you talking so about? Thank Christ. Some good news for a change. What about the captive? Did you question him? He was infected too. I see. Did he survive? Fortunately, he survived and I had a chance to question him. What did you find out? He was transporting the false coins to Pribislavitz. He got them from some merchant called Menhart. I don't know him. Neither do I. But I know where the money's handed over. It's not far from Rovna, and this Menhart should be waiting there about now. Excellent, Henry. We mustn't let this opportunity slip through our fingers. You go there and put pressure on this Menhart to tell us what he knows. Don't go yet. 
There's something I'd like to talk to you about. God be with you. Okay. You haven't disappointed me. Nothing against Bernard, Robard, or any of those others. But none of them could find out as much as you. At least not without beatings and torture. And that doesn't always work. You're a godsend, lad. Thank you, sir. Now go and find out who's behind everything, and then we'll deal with them. Yes, sir. Sir. What is it? Sometimes I ask myself what, what it all means. Why does God allow such things to happen? All this slaughter and revenge over and over. It's a hard question. I'm no theologian. But long ago I came to the conclusion that the only thing that makes sense is that it's all a trial. Life is one long series of problems to solve. The more you solve, the better a man you become. I never thought about it that way. Well, just look at the pampered ones who have no concerns in life, like young Lord Capon, for instance. I shudder to think how he will rule when his time comes. Tribulations spawn in life over and over again. We must stand our ground and face them. So, I go to Sasso and solve this one. Hmm? You can rely on me, sir. Good luck, son. Where do you want to go? You've only just arrived. Jesus, what have you been up to? Are you happy? It's not worth a damn. If I had any choice, you wouldn't see my heels for dust. Well, what's happened? Did you two get yourselves into trouble? What fine friend you are, assuming it's our own bloody fault. Oh, come on. You know what you two are like. I had to ask. Well, perhaps with that mug. But now, the foreman's got it in for us. If he could, he'd skin us alive. Always forcing you to work, is he? If only. That wouldn't be so awful. But nothing we do is good enough for him. There's always some reason for him to yell at us. I can imagine. You know what it's like. We do too little, and it takes us too long, and what we eat's worth more than the work we've done, and it's no fun listening to that sort of shit day after day. And the miller won't stick up for you. I would have thought all the yelling would drive him mad. Not really. He trusts that loudmouthed bastard more than us. He's got us down for a pair of parasites. I see. <laughs> What's so stupid is the mill really needs us. They haven't had any hands here for quite a while, and the mill needs a lot of fixing. But with them around, we can't even get to work. And you definitely don't... You don't ever provoke him? I've already told you once, he's an arsehole. I'd say there's nothing we can do about it. If he wants to yell at us, he'll yell at us. Have you tried talking with him? What do you think? But that just sets him off. He starts saying we're practically bandits and what he's going to do about it. That gets Fritz going and he starts yelling too and... And what do you want to do about it? Just run away? Actually, I'd like to stay here. At least for a bit. I never would have thought I'd like working in a mill. But not with him around. It's unbearable. And there's no one I can complain to. But you could. Me? Do you think they'll listen to me? They did once already, didn't they? They hired us because of you. We could have another word with them. And back then, making promises was enough. Now, it will be worse. You can forget about the miller. It's Thomas he needs to convince. The miller takes his opinion seriously. So, will you do mm. it for us? Again? Fine. I'll try and talk to him. <sighs> I'm glad. But try not to get on his wrong side. You won't get anywhere with him then. I'll keep that in mind. I'd like to ask about that Thomas again. I'd like to ask... Hmm, I'd never have... Well, 
get a job here as a hand. And what does he do during the day? <laughs> Good one. He keeps his eye on everything, but his hand only touches the saw when the miller shows up, which isn't that surprising. Why? The last time he did anything, he almost took his thumb off with a chisel. I wouldn't put an axe in those paws of his either. So he's clumsy and arrogant. That's what you said about your last master, that Nemo. Aye, but at least you could sneak away from old Nimoy for a bit. No chance of that around here. <laughs> I'd like you to teach... Certainly. What? Good luck. Welcome, Henry. Hey, how'd you get so fucked up? Matthew told me your foreman's a fool, and you're not exactly filled with Christian love for him. You better believe it. I'd like to pay him back for everything and drown him in the river. Drown him? What's he done to you? It was the uh, first or the second day here. But we had a disagreement, and I told him off. And then, all of a sudden, we're fighting, and that fucker just throws me in the river. I nearly drowned. But how did you get out? I thought you couldn't swim. I can't. They pulled me out. I was up to my waist in water. <laughs> you? Well, I'd be pretty fucking angry, too. So you want to pay him back? Exactly. I don't give a shit about anything around here. But that bastard's in need of a good trouncing. And what do you want to do about it? Do you think you can come to an agreement? No fucking chance. Matthew hopes so because he likes it here. It's true the work's better than the mines, but the play's worse. So how do you plan on dealing with it? Leaving? Perhaps. But first, I want to give Thomas <laughs> a proper trouncing. I appreciate uh, Matthew just standing there. That's pretty sweet. Maybe. Maybe it'll knock some sense into that fat head of his. Or it'll be too frightened to mess with me. That might help. So why don't you arrange a fight with him? If we win, he leave us alone. Oh, we could... What? We could lure him off someplace far away and then wait for him. Maybe to play dice with Lawrence. He would have to go through the dark woods. Mm. I'll think about it. Welcome back. It does. Jesus Christ be praised. So what do you think about the workers I brought you? If I hadn't put in a good word for them, the miller would have thrown them out by now. I heard them say something else. So they're complaining, are they? <laughs> I provide for them, and all they do is slack off. Isn't it the miller who provides for them? He can't oh, straight up. Anymore. If it weren't for me, there'd be nothing left standing around here. But you need the help anyway, and they're pretty handy. Maybe, but they're in no danger of overworking themselves. They act like they're too good for the mill, and I saw them eyeing up Jane. Nothing strange about that. She's a pretty girl, and she's of an age to marry. It's not marriage they've got on their minds. They'd have their way with her, then before her belly started to grow, they'd have run for the hills. Look, we can reach an agreement. You need the mill fixed, they need the money. If they have... But... I don't mean to skip that. And then they'll that. take their crossing and leave. The mines will open again, and the faster they get their money, the quicker they'll be gone. But do you really think I can trust them to do it? Will they do their work and leave? And leave Jane alone in the meantime? Of course. They're not interested in the mill. They just need the coin to pay their debts. Once they've got enough, they'll have no reason to stay here. This is going to work yeah, out I've so well. We it's going to be so good. Thing. I've known them for a long time, and you can rely on them when it comes to this. Everybody will be better off. All right. If they keep their part of the bargain, I'll even give them a few extra brushes. But woe be tied them if they don't. You can tell them that. I just chose to side with Matthew, basically, because he seems more level-headed about the situation. Fritz is kind of an idiot. And just wants to fucking beat ass. 
Jesus, what have you been up to? It took some doing, but I made a deal with him. I'm glad to hear it. So we can stay here? He'll leave us be? He'll leave you alone, but there are conditions. Once you finish your job, you'll vanish from here. But you'll get an extra groschen or two for your troubles. And that's it? I thought... Oh, never mind. Oh, and you're to stop dallying with the miller's daughter. Keep on mucking about with her and you'll muck things up for yourselves. The fucking bastard. He can go fuck himself. He'd better give us enough groschen to make it worth it. But I suppose I should thank you. You may have bought us some peace and quiet, and that's better than nothing. Here's something for your help. Good luck, man. That's right. I don't know if I want them to live in my settlement. You can invite them later, I think. I think.